have our head coach Carlos Peña and player Ayush Shetri taking in your questions. Uh, before we start the press conference, I will request you all to put your phones on silent. And if you have a question, raise your hands and I will come and give the mic. Uh, first few questions will be directed to Ayush. After that, we will throw, throw open the questions for Carlos. Ayush, I am Dr. How difficult or easy has it been for you to move from the ID to the ISL? You've done really well for yourself uh, so far. Uh, did you find it tough? Did you find the transition easy? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, here in ISL, the players are technically good. And because of that, uh, it makes me, for me, it makes me more easy to play. What are the differences between the ID uh, which you played earlier to the ISL? For me, uh, the intensity of ID is high and, and in ISL uh, the intensity is a little bit slow. How, has, uh, how do you describe the... Uh, you have settled in quite well with, with FC Goa. Uh, how did you settle in so quickly? How did you adjust so quickly? Life in the ISL to get the worst type of thing. Yeah, uh, here the, uh, the senior players help me a lot, and even if I do mistakes, uh, they correct me. And, and, the, uh, and I would like to thank the coaching staffs for believing in me. And, and I had already learned a lot of things from them. Aish, uh, yeah, well, can you tell me uh, how, how did you take to football? And uh, I think your father had a great, uh, great, uh, uh, what is it, uh, influence on you. Uh, can you speak about uh, how that came about? Yeah, my father used to play football, and uh, from my young age, I used to follow follow him. Uh, I used to go wherever he went to play. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, any other influences that you have uh, whilst growing up in football? Any anywhere else? Do you find any kind of motivation? Uh, for me, I found my motivation from my father. Uh, he 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 like a lot. Uh, he like a lot to play football. I'll throw the floor open to questions for Carlos. It's been quite difficult. Uh, you lost your uh, first match at home. Uh, you, you picked up your highest uh, scoring defeat uh, against uh, Mumbai. Uh, if you look at the last six matches, FC Goa have lost four. Uh, is there a cause for concern? Are you, are you a bit worried uh, right now? Yeah, of course. We are not happy with the, with the last two games. Uh, I think both games were really, really different. I think the Bengaluru game, they defended really good and we had troubles to create chances. But the result could be very different if we scored first, but it didn't happen. And in Mumbai, yeah, I feel that they were better in, in some phases of the, of the game. And I think we were in the game during the first half. We did a very good game, a very good first half, sorry. But in the second half, we, we were not us. Uh, but yeah, uh, there, are, there hasn't been good times for us these last 10 days. But we need to improve, we need to improve on that. I say it after winning games. We don't have to think in the past. We need to be focused in the next one. After ATK, I was very clear. Now, don't think everyone that we're going to become champions and we're the best team. And now, in this moment, that is not easy for us, of course. I have trust 100% in my team, in my staff, and I'm sure we are going to, to show what we can show tomorrow. Coach, how, how different the approach can we, can we expect in the match against Odisha? You said that the team has done really well so far. So, how are you approaching this game? Well, already, uh, I have 
have said from the first day, our idea is going to be the same. We are going to play uh, with our style. We are going to try to dominate the game. We are going to create chances. We are going to try to be solid in defense. And I think it must be our first goal for tomorrow. In the last two games, we have considered six goals. And for a team that wants to be in the first position, it's not possible. This is our main goal for tomorrow. We need to be again consistent, and of course we are going to, to go for the game. We are going to adjust some things that I think we need to adjust. And with our style, with our identity, with our mentality, we are going to try to, to be them. I've seen in the last three matches, I've seen that they scored in the late in the game, that is at the very end of the game. So what is the approach for the preparation for the match Yeah, I, I told the players sometimes this week, Odisha has done a, a very good starting. I think they are, it's a team with a very good energy, with a strong character. They are taking the respect of everyone because they are having good results. They are doing some good comebacks and I like the way they are playing and the energy and the consistency they are showing till now. But I think we are not so far from them. Tomorrow it's a day to be focused on ourselves, to, to recover our soul again and to try to get some points. Coach, uh, it will be missing the game tomorrow because of his suspension. Uh, it will be among the more consistent players. Uh, uh, he was dropped only for the match against uh, DFC, he didn't start. Uh, how do things change uh, without Edu being available? Uh, does it change anything for you? Yeah, Edu is a, it's a big loss for us. Uh, mostly because we, we, I lost, I missed one more option to choose. No? And we know the influence that Edu has in our in our, in our game, no? but I trust 100% in all my squad. I'm sure the players that play in their position will do a big game. Maybe I can find for some other options. We are thinking still in how we are going to play, in the names, of course, not the style. And I, I believe 100% in the players that I'm going to use tomorrow because we have shown that we have, we can play with any player. Uh, UFC Goa has never lost against Odisha in the last six matches. So what is the outcome tomorrow of the We have never lost to Odisha. Uh, so he wants to know whether that will be remain the fact. I'm not a fan of statistics, you know. I'm not a fan of, of, last, of past games. But hopefully this statistic can remain tomorrow after the game. But uh, we know that we are facing a, a very tough game, a very tough opponent tomorrow. They are going, they are coming in a good mood. They have played only two games, but FC Goa, Fatorda can do anything. We are able to do anything. Coach, uh, when you started picking your team, Ayush was not in the level, but you still gave him a few minutes. He still came in the second half. Later on, you started with Ayush. Uh, partnering Edu uh, ahead of Princeton and Glenn. Uh, what are the characteristics that that make you choose uh, choose Ayush ahead of other players? I think Ayush uh, has deserved the, his minutes uh, from the precision. He had many chances in the precision. He played really good friendly games in precision and he showed me that he wanted to be with us. And he didn't start the play in the starting 11, the, the ISL, but the time I gave to him, uh, he took advantage of that. No? And when he had the, the opportunity, the chance of playing the starting 11, he has helped a lot. He's a very smart player. He's a player that tries to understand the, uh, the game, that he's paying attention every day, every instruction, every order I'm giving. He's trying to apply it to the beats. And I think it's the most important for a player in his position. If a midfielder doesn't understand the game, doesn't understand what the coach is asking for him, I think he's a worse player than a player that understands. 
He's a guy with his 18 years old with a good personality. Of course, he has to improve many, many things, but luckily he has time and he has the passion and, the, and he's working the way to improve. So I hope that he has a brilliant future and he has to keep on showing every day that he deserves the minutes he's taking. So.